Okay guys, I've had a lot of interest and a lot of questions about gun cleaning and things that uh, pertain to cleaning and oiling guns and I needed to go over my uh, Smith & Wesson 360 SC. I carry this a lot and I just need to clean it because um, I've been carrying it for quite a while and it's got some dust and stuff on there as you can see. So I figured I'd go ahead and uh, start the camera up and show some of you people who might not know uh, the proper way to clean and oil a revolver. Now a revolver is much easier to clean than a semi-auto. There's a lot less moving parts in it. So it's going to be pretty much straightforward, uh, but still some people want to see it done so they can do it when they clean their gun. Okay, what you're going to need is a cleaning rod with the looped end that holds a patch. You're going to need <clears throat> A brass bristle brush and the caliber of the revolver and I'm going to use one of these Norton cleaning sticks you can get these at countycom.com uh, just to get into the tight areas and whatnot of the gun you can use uh, something similar around the house you know for what I'm using this for and get yourself a couple of cotton rags as well and whatever kind of cleaner you want to use I'm going to use hops elite this is what I like it works for me and for oil, you can use whatever you want. I'm going to use this Militech, but use whatever oil you want. I'm not going to I'm not going to try to push this stuff. I mean, it's oil, you know, whatever you have will work. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unload the revolver. Okay. Like I said, this is the Smith & Wesson 360 SC and I was carrying some gold dot hollow points in it. It's a great little carry revolver. Weighs about 11 ounces <laughs> unloaded. So uh, if you need something light, this would be the gun for you. I mean, it, you talk about air weight, it's scandium. Thing weighs nothing. And if you're gonna if you're gonna shoot 357 magnums through it, just be prepared because you're gonna get you're gonna get quite a kick. The back strap here kind of wraps the web of your hand and when I shoot it with 357 mag loads, uh, when I pull the trigger, the front of the trigger guard actually comes back and gets me in the finger pretty good. But I love shooting it, and you can also run 38 specials through these if you'd, if you'd like. Okay, so first thing what we want to do is go ahead and put a cleaning patch on the end of the rod. And we're going to start with the barrel and cylinder because we want to leave some cleaner sit inside of those areas. Okay. So I'll just thread a patch through and then we're going to take the cleaner, spray it down. Okay, open up your cylinder. You can see I got a lot of dust and things on this gun. We're going to start by making a couple of passes through the bore. Uh, just to get the initial dust and grime out. <clears throat> okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and keep this on here. I'm going to spray a little bit more cleaner on there. And then what you're going to do is just go ahead and come from the front and run this through each cylinder. This is a five shot revolver. Wow. I did have some lint in there. Okay. Now get rid of that patch. Okay. We're going to leave that sit for a little bit. Let that cleaner 
loosen up, you know, whatever dirt is in there. And, uh, okay, next, we're, we're going to go focus on in here and around the gun. I'm going to show you basically like how to clean a revolver if you just got done shooting it. So, um, we're going to go to the inside of the frame here. One place to pay special attention to is around the forcing cone. This right here, the barrel coming through, the piece coming through right here at the end of the barrel is the forcing cone. Okay, so, wow, <laughs> this does have some lint in it. Um, so you want to pay close attention to that. And you want to be sure to clean all up around here. Uh, clean the top strap of the gun all the way back into the corner. Clean this back here, the bottom, and if, you know, the top and around that forcing cone. So I'm going to take a rag. Just use something cotton. And I'm going to put some obsolete cleaner on there. And I'm going to go around the edge of the forcing cone there. see it pulled out some dirt and then what I'm gonna do is go up tight against the front strap in there and uh, get get clean up there you know use it up there and get that clean so basically um if you had just been shooting this gun and it wasn't lint, you'd have to scrub a little bit more around the forcing cone here and on this top strap. You, what happens is when you fire and the round goes off, there's, you know, a blast comes out like this inside the cylinder and a lot of that hits your top strap right there and it makes a black mark across there. You, you know, you want to get that clean and scrub that off. I don't have that right now. There's a, in, these, in these ones, there's a piece of metal in there. So, you just want to get around the forcing cone really good. And then what you want to do is just take the rag, put some cleaner on it. Just go ahead and take with your hands because it's easier and just go around the main part in there of the, uh, of the inside of the frame there. All around, whatever you can reach, the top, the bottom back here all around now I, I have some finish wear on this gun that I can't get rid of like this back here this is not dirt this is actually finish wear on the gun where you see the where the rims of the rounds were sitting so you just want to wipe around in there do this until the rag comes out white See, I got some dirt on there, but just continue to do that until your rag comes out white. Uh, just keep spraying cleaner on it, and then go back with a dry rag and dry it all out in there. We don't want anything wet inside of there. It doesn't need to be, okay? Okay, now what it's time to do is get another patch and thread it through the end of the cleaning rod. And go ahead and start back with the barrel, which is what you originally started with. Take it through the barrel. Okay. Take it through there twice right now. And then what we're going to do is go through the cylinders with it. I'm getting quite a bit of dirt out of these cylinders right now. Okay. So next what I'll do, and this is especially going to be good for after you've been shooting with your revolver, go ahead and take off the loop off your cleaning rod 
and put on the brass bristle brush of the revolver caliber that matches it. Okay, this is really going to do a lot because as you're cleaning the barrel and the cylinders, you want to keep going until your rag comes out clean. Okay, so now we're going to spray. cleaner on the brass brush and we're going to pass through the barrel all the way and then back out. You don't want to change direction while in the center of the barrel. Okay, You don't want to do that. You want to come all the way until it clears the barrel and then back out. Go ahead and do about 20 passes with your brush. Okay. Now I'm going to actually do this on the cylinders as well. Now it's going to be looser in the cylinders than what it is in the barrel and forcing cone. But still, I still like to do it this in the cylinders. I actually spray a little bit more cleaner on there. Okay. And continue to go through your cylinders. These brushes are great at removing a lot of the grime that you just can't get with normal cleaning. Okay, now, immediately after that, you don't have to leave that sit. Put on your loop on the cleaning rod. And now we're going to take this patch clean patch through the barrel after the brass brush has been in there. Okay. These patches are a little bit bigger caliber so I gotta watch how I pull them through. A little bit came out, not much. Okay now, here's where you want to keep going. Okay, After you fire this revolver quite a bit your patch is going to come out dirty. Okay, so you scrub it a couple of times with the patch. Okay, if, if the rag's dirty, you're going to put this brass bristle brush back on. You're going to go through the bore about 20 more times, and you're going to put a clean patch on and go through again. Now, you're going to do this until the patch comes out pretty much white. Okay? Always put cleaner on the brass brush, go through the bore about 20 times, then dry patch it in and out. Okay, and until these patches start coming out real, real light gray or white, you want to keep repeating that process. Go from brass, brush to patch. Okay, like 20 passes with this, pass back and forth a couple of times with this. Then when this starts coming out clean, then your, uh, your barrel's good to go. My barrel's not bad, so I'm not going to do much more than that on camera for the sake of time. So then you want to go to the cylinders with the same patch. Sorry about the shaking of the camera, guys. Uh, and as you can see, this is what this brass brush pulled out, you know, concerning the dirt that the cleaner just didn't get on its own down in there. Now I'm going to take a rag. I'm going to put some cleaner on there. Yeah, I'm just going to wipe over the back of the cylinder here where you see the dust and debris and I'm going to come here to the front and I'm going to turn it do the same thing okay there's also another area you don't want to forget push this push your rod your ejecting rod in and hang on a second
clean down in here, guys. This gets dirty, too, just like the rest of the gun. With that rod held back, clean down in here. Turn it. Clean against this. Clean around this as best you can. Okay, because you want that to be clean as well. Now we're going to look down there. Cylinders are looking pretty good. Look down the barrel a little bit if we can. Barrel's looking not too shabby. So there is going to be a little bit of oiling to do to the gun, but first I'm just going to close up the cylinder and I'm going to get a rag and I'm going to wipe over the outside of the revolver. Uh, you know, like around this trigger here. I got a lot of dirt down in there around this trigger guard. will get in there and get that we're just gonna wipe down everything with the cleaner I'm gonna take this here Norton stick Norton cleaning stick Spray that down, and I'm going to use that to get in behind the trigger. Okay. You get a lot of buildup in a gun when you carry it like this. You carry it on your ankle or on your waist, and that's where all the uh, dust and stuff naturally falls. It's going to fall right there. why I've got finish wear on this gun. Um, you can see some of the areas on here where the I have finish wear. When I first got this gun, it did this within the first three months and I wasn't even carrying it. I sent it back to Smith & Wesson and they sent it back to me and then within another couple of months it started to do it again. So I just I said I might have to live with it I guess. The finish on these things are terrible. See down in there? This is not dirt. That's all that's the silver finish coming off. It's like a titanium gray underneath. And as you can see, it's doing that all over the pistol. It's just a really bad finish, and I didn't want to mess with sending it in, you know, a bunch of times because I think that the finish is just going to do it again. Uh, I should have got a black one is what I should have done. But unfortunately, this is the one they had at the gun store when I bought it, and... That's the one I went with. Now we're going to go in around the hammer. Clean in here. And once this camera's off, I will get all this better when I'm holding the gun in front of me. Uh, another thing I do, pull your hammer back. And look at that. See that, guys? What happens when you carry these? Let me get this to focus in here. Look at that dirt in there. Yeah, this gun was due. It was... There was a good amount of lint in there. It's going now just from just from carrying. And I never had this gun cocked when I carried it. So see how it gets down into all the places? Then just come in here with the cleaning stick. You know, hit the sides. Uh, the front of the hammer. 
you get the idea. Just do that until you know you can see that it's clean enough in there. Now I'm going to show you uh, what you need to oil on the revolver. It's not very much at all. It's one one thing. Uh, what needs oiled on the revolver is the ejecting rod right here, the ejection rod. So basically, there's an outer piece, which is right here, and then there's an inner piece, which is right there. So what I'm going to do is just take some oil, and this is how I do mine. I'm going to push this back. I'll put a drop on there. I got a little bit too much because of the way I'm doing this. And then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to put a drop on there. And I'm going to work this... Uh, I'm going to work this ejection rod back and forth. Turn it this way. And, uh, you know, work it back and forth like that. Just to get that oil moving where you need it. You can see how smooth it's running now. It even just feels smoother. And then what I also do is, oh yeah, don't forget, um, I forgot a little area here to clean. Clean right here. In tight against the front of the cylinder. See that dirt coming off? Clean around here and tight around that edge. But what another thing I do is, is I take a drop of oil and I put it right there. That's a little bit too much again. Can't barely see what I'm doing with this little viewfinder. And you wipe off the excess. I take a drop and I put her there. Just kind of let it get worked down in. You want to go back with the rag. Wipe off all the excess around there. You just don't need it excessive. Okay, guys, I'll be back in one sec. Okay, I think there's something I forgot to show you. Uh, when your cylinder's open, go ahead and turn the cylinder and clean over it as you turn. That's a good way to clean your cylinders on the outside. You're going to get a lot of powder residue on your... Okay, so that's just one great way to do that. Okay, guys, another good thing that this Norton cleaning stick is really good for, there's a really hard area to get here in between the cylinder release and the frame. But this uh, Norton cleaning stick with a rag around it fits right in. And you can get up tight against the edge. Okay, guys, another important part that you want to remember to clean when you do the revolver is in here where your uh, ejector rod sits. This gets a lot of debris fouling in it and whatnot. So you want to get something that fits in there. And you want to scrub that out. Keep that clean and then get it nice and dry. Make sure everything on this revolver is dry. I don't need anything wet. Okay. Okay, that's about all I'm going to do for right now to the gun. Uh, I hope this is helping some of you guys. I have some new guys to the channel. And uh, they've told me that the cleaning video and the uh, disassembly videos are really helping them out. So, uh, I hope to uh, keep informing you guys. And also, what I was going to do, if you guys want to see a, uh, how to clean a magazine, a pistol magazine, or it could be a rifle magazine, you know, let me know in the comments of this video. And I will do, I'll just take a Glock magazine, and I will strip it down, and I will show you guys how to uh, properly clean a magazine and to clean the spring and to get it, you know, all ready for your gun. A lot of debris and powder gets in the magazine when you fire a pistol. 
Okay, I had some guys ask me, well, why would you take a magazine apart? <laughs> well, the reason is, is it gets powder fouling and, um, you know, debris down there just like any other part of the gun. And it's something that has to be done from time to time. So if you guys want to know how to clean a magazine, let me know in the comments. Okay. This here girl is ready to go. We are going to get her back into service. Great backup gun or an ankle carry gun. Love this thing. I've had this gun for about four years and it has seen a lot of carry time, let me tell you. The Airlite SC, which stands for Scandium. These are very pricey. Uh, if I were you, I would just go for the titanium. One or two ounces is not going to make or break you. Okay. This gun runs about eight or nine hundred dollars. But if you just go with the regular titanium, there's a little bit more weight to it, and just a just an ounce or two. That's what I would do. Don't spend all that money on this, and maybe get a black one. Look at the finish wear. So, it's a great revolver though. I've shot 357s through it. I've shot 38 special. <clears throat> and I've also shot 38 rounds through it. And it's very accurate for the length of barrel that it is for me. And like I said, it's seen a lot of time. Great little quick, easy carry gun to grab on the go. And there you go, guys. That's how you clean a revolver. Hope this helped you out and gave you some ideas. Once again, this is Humans for Targets, and I'm out.